on computer arts and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to apply gradient to a stroke using uh, new illustrator CS6. First of all uh, I'm, I open up illustrator and I want to make sure that my workspace is on essentials um, and just for the demonstration I have come up with um, two letters for a typeface um, that I'm going to create uh, just using simple outlines uh, from circles. At the moment the stroke is one so I'm going to change that to 28 just so it's you know we've got a bit more to work with and we can see the see the gradient on the stroke. Um, a new feature on uh, on the new Illustrator CS6 is this um, variable width profile up here. So if I just highlight one of my letters, you can have a play around with the width of the stroke. This is probably better if you're shading like an illustration. Um, and you know, if you want it to go from sort of narrow into sort of a wide, you know, using this. But you know, for this demonstration, and keep it on uniform. Right. Then I want to open up my strokes palette, and actually, I've already um, I've already got it on a round cap here. But um, you know, if I fancy changing it. I just change these. I'm going to keep it round. And then I open up my gradients uh, palette and we'll show you how to apply gradient. Really easy. Um, so I drop in my colours. Because I want to have a 3D effect, I'm going to do a sort of ready pink fill. But I put the dark my darker colours towards the edges. I work my way in bit lighter and then I have my lightest one in the middle and you can obviously move these about and then here uh, this is this is the new new thing we've got here we can apply the gra um, gradient within a stroke or apply the gradient along a stroke or apply the gradient across the stroke so we're going to do a cross and you instantly you can see so it's giving it that sort of 3D look. Um, you can once when you're in there, you can try all sort of different ones. You can change the angle, um, all sorts. But sort of, it's really really simple. It's just one button. And then here we've got a drop down. You've got your sort of gradient swatches. If you want to, if I want to save that one that I've just used, I click here, add to swatches, and it's. And it's added now, that swatch is now added into my um, swatches palette up here. Uh, you can also try um, some of the custom ones that are that are in the drop down. So if I want to try, this is quite cool. And then if you hit this button here, which is reverse the gradient, you get this sort of glow which is nice I might take the take my cups off there and then maybe increase the stroke but yeah you can play around and sort of do all sorts with it go back to the one I was on and um, that's it really I um, hope you enjoy playing around with the new the new uh, palette. Goodbye!